Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews' life got a bit more complicated over the weekend with the publication in the Herald Sun of a photograph of stairs. Stairs where he says he had a horror fall that almost took his life and certainly had him off work for weeks and weeks and weeks. The stairs, he called them, but more accurately, two little steps. Like so many things connected with the Premier, it doesn't quite add up. Here's what he says happened in a Slick Labor video released months after the actual fall, only days before he came back to work last year. And I'm making my way to the car to head off to work. As I put my foot onto the first step, I knew I was in trouble. I didn't really connect with the step, it just slid straight off. I became airborne almost, so I'm uh, horizontal with the step, and then all I could hear was just this almighty crunch. And that's when I knew, I knew that, and when I heard the crunch, I thought, that's, this is serious, we're in trouble here. Kath must have heard me sort of groaning in pain. I couldn't yell out. She comes and finds me a few moments later. It felt like an eternity because I sort of couldn't breathe. I could only the most shallow breaths in and out. And this from his wife, Catherine. It was awful because you were going blue and we were looking at each other and I was thinking, you're going to die here in Sorrento at this holiday house. And you were looking at me and... You felt the same. Here's those steps again, all 42 centimetres of them, about 18 inch from the top step to the ground below. About the size of a school ruler. Now, enough for a nasty fall, sure, but enough to put someone in hospital with serious spinal injuries, collapsed lung, six fractured ribs? Will you be the judge? It's certainly been a fall that's been subject to a lot of rumour in Victoria. Where was the Premier, when he fell, what actually happened to precipitate the fall. And if the two steps from the porch to the ground were so dangerous, why hasn't there been any rectification work at this holiday home? After all, you'd hardly find a more high-profile victim of unsafe, substandard steps if that's what's happened here. When asked about the fall over the weekend, the Premier resorted to his usual combination of stonewalling and mockery, claiming he said all there was to say, and then asking journalists whether they wanted to interview steps. Well, I don't know what, you're going to interview the stairs next. People can go as low as they want. I am not coming there with them. This was a terrible incident. It was an accident. It was no one's fault. For a Teflon sort of political character, it's been a horror start to the campaign for the Premier. Last week, there was a statement from the teenage cyclist who was hit by his car a decade back, contradicting the Premier's version and claiming that neither the Premier nor his wife had tried to help him after the accident. Then the news on Friday that there's now a record fourth corruption inquiry involving the Premier, this time over union grants, just before the previous election. I've issued the statement, and I'll again make it very clear for you that if you want to know what IBAC is or isn't doing, then you should speak to IBAC. I behave appropriately at all times. That's the oath that I swore. I take that very, very seriously. Uh, IBAC has also issued a statement, so I'd refer you to that also. Now, these two little steps that he called stairs for such a long time until he just about got back at work, those two little steps that have felled a premier. Up until now, Daniel Andrews has always managed to stare down his opponents and his critics, but maybe that's starting to change. And finally, perhaps we're seeing the Liberal opposition start to show some fight as well. Last week, the CFMEU put out a pro-Andrews poster saying he might be a bad bloke, bad bloke. They actually used a word I can't use on air. But at least they said he's delivering. Well, the Libs have just released a cheeky ad saying even the unions are admitting this. Remember when we hit the streets to protest against Daniel Andrews' world record lockdowns? Remember when Andrews forced us to get the jab or lose our job? Now even our own unions are admitting he's a Don't let him get away with it. Put Labor last. Authorised by Seema Queston, Liberal Melbourne. And Labor's finally starting to slip in the polls too. Not enough for the Liberals to win yet, but certainly a worrying sign for Labor that this election isn't quite the one-horse race they might have thought. With a large block of undecided votes still out there, this election, I tell you, started to get a bit interesting. <laughs> 